но здесь мы все равно спорим. Ну, Видно, вот. понеслось. Видно. Угу. Так, теперь надо. Так, я чуть-чуть двигаюсь. Угу. Чтобы включаем микрофон. Да. Hello everyone. I sit here in Istanbul together with Vadim Epstein, and we are happy to see you online and invite you to our artist talk of Vadim. I give a microphone and have fun. Uh, thank you so much for the introduction and uh, to bring me here uh, to your audience to to, to the stream. So uh, today. Uh, I will uh, show a few tricks uh, about my recent uh, works with uh, animation in Stable Diffusion uh, because I was asked a few times already how uh, to uh, make uh, that or all that things. And also we'll give a brief introduction for about uh, our coming course, uh, next uh, edition of uh, my course uh, AI Email in Visuals, uh, which starts uh, at the 1st of April. So, um, and uh, yeah, and uh, at the end of our stream uh, we will give some uh, instruction, uh, we will send some PDF uh, file uh, with uh, few uh, things uh, we, we, with some instructions from uh, the uh, course materials uh, which uh, would help you to try it uh, at home to start it uh, not waiting till the uh, course itself uh, and to try the things uh, which I will show today to install the stack for uh, neural networks which I use and uh, to test uh, uh, animation uh, methods which we will discuss today. So, the piece, uh, the main piece uh, which uh, would be kind of uh, like visiting card uh, uh, is called Turbulence. It's uh, uh, to date one of uh, most polished uh, work, uh, my work uh, uh, with uh, uh, video in uh, stable diffusion uh, at the beginning of the year i wanted to create something beautiful not as usually like some uh, uh, creepy uh, stuff which i usually prefer um, and also uh, during the making of uh, this video uh, i had to discover and uh, apply the sometimes implement uh, a few things uh, which would allow me to uh, make some uh, such a uh, high resolution HD uh, videos with uh, good quality with uh, high frame rate uh, here it goes like uh, 50 FPS 50 frames per second uh, so uh, this is the piece uh, which I tried to make uh, uh, as abstract visuals uh, but uh, under the hood, uh, beneath of the uh, result, uh, there are uh, a lot of uh, things which uh, are applicable and useful, I hope, for a more realistic or for various uh, kinds of uh, animations. Uh, so let's see how uh, the anime div, uh, div uh, that is the main uh, uh, technique which is uh, in use nowadays the main open source technique for videos until Sora, uh, Sora is uh, widely available for, uh, for public, but I doubt the open AI would uh, release it uh, as open source anyway. <coughs> so let's talk about uh, animative for now. Uh, first, uh, this uh, uh, great technique uh, appeared uh, appeared uh, as a way to produce very very short uh, chunks of video like six, uh, the, uh, limited to the range of 16 frames 
what uh, the guys from Confi UI uh, community very quickly, very promptly uh, applied uh, some nice sliding window sampling technique when we just take whatever amount of frames you want to generate and we just uh, moved uh, shift our uh, that limited uh, frame uh, limited range of frames like those 16 frames all over the whole sequence which you want to generate with overlapping uh, of uh, uh, different uh, ranges so that we have more or less smooth uh, uh, generation all over the sequence uh, and that was um, the, the time to start uh, making some uh, like music videos like this one or uh, some uh, like lengthy uh, animations. But at the time, uh, didn't allow yet uh, to make uh, transitions uh, between, uh, for instance, rounds. So, uh, like uh, for, uh, as uh, this video, this music video for Sabaki Tabaka song, uh, one of the leading industrial groups in my home country. Um, uh, here I had to uh, generate uh, separate loops, separate uh, chunks, separate pieces, uh, every piece with one single specific prompt or set of prompts because I used both uh, textual uh, inputs and uh, imagery as uh, image references for with IP adapter technique, which uh, greatly helps to uh, achieve a specific style or a specific uh, look, specific feel for, for the result. And so here uh, you, you may see that uh, the, uh, these uh, pieces uh, are edited just uh, uh, as cuts. Uh, we don't have any kind of uh, uh, transferring uh, any kind of interpolation between the uh, between the topics so here is uh, this uh, piece is in fact uh, kind of what uh, that turbulence uh, nice uh, abstract uh, video would look uh, as if I didn't apply that much of uh, the reference imagery uh, to uh, allow uh, the textual the conceptual part uh, to be uh, surfacing. So, in fact, uh, the, uh, the whole idea, the whole uh, like art concept of uh, Turbulence video was to showcase uh, uh, our world, our uh, like active life uh, as uh, some uh, abstract process where we, we got a lot of uh, uh, events, a lot of uh, dynamics, a lot of uh, uh, forces uh, driving uh, everyday life, but we uh, don't see uh, immediately uh, or directly those forces, but can only uh, see them through the, some turbulent waves of uh, uh, sometimes unrelated uh, events. So here uh, uh, I just uh, eliminated, uh, I just uh, decreased the weight of uh, uh, those abstract uh, image references. Let me show you which kind of references I mean. This, uh, these were a few uh, images which I tried, to, which I applied as uh, those image references so, the, so that uh, it would uh, add that uh, uh, glassy, wavy look, uh, making it, uh, the whole uh, thing abstract. But if I uh, keep, uh, if I uh, removed uh, these references altogether, I would uh, get uh, pretty like uh, a, a noisy movements uh, and not so uh, consistent, not so co co coherent uh, visuals uh, in general. Uh, so if I, when I put it, uh, put a, a lot of uh, like serious weights like 0 0.4 or 0 0.5 weight for IP adapter image references, and also add some uh, extra uh, words about uh, these specific abstract visuals in the prompt, in the textual prompts, I would get uh, that nice abstract image going smoothly from one prompt to another prompt, but we would uh, totally lose the uh, original imagery. And if I uh, removed uh, the extra uh, textual uh, uh, guidelines uh, to make it more uh, like abstract glass works or whatever, 
but keeping uh, the uh, image references uh, with uh, uh, low weights like 0.1 or 0.2 I uh, got a pretty impressive result uh, that means that uh, the, uh, those image references didn't get into the visuals itself you see that uh, the uh, imagery looks kind of realistic uh, well, not that re photorealistic uh, of course but still uh, you don't see any uh, abstractions here we see some uh, uh, hardly messed but still recognizable uh, pieces uh, of uh, some real stuff uh, people nature whatever uh, but uh, uh, keeping those uh, image references uh, intact we uh, I really managed to make uh, the whole movement way more smoother uh, comparing to what it uh, would be if I didn't uh, add the, those uh, references. So here again is what would uh, exactly the same uh, scenario like this. This is with really low weights with IP adapter references, and this is just with higher weights. So when you uh, use, uh, when you construct some prompts uh, for or with uh, images or uh, uh, text prompts, uh, just uh, consider the idea that uh, when you do when you do it with video, that uh, s uh, you can juggle somehow, you can balance uh, uh, the inputs uh, in such a way that you got uh, one things uh, going as visuals and other things affecting the motion, affecting the dynamics, but not getting into the visuals. That's, uh, that was a really uh, good uh, discovery for myself uh, and really useful. Uh, some other things uh, which uh, uh, those of you who are tried already, for instance, Confi UI, or by chance tried my uh, GitHub repo, but in this case uh, you will probably uh, know already what I am talking about, um, was that uh, the main point of the, uh, the main uh, really cool, uh, the, uh, really cool, uh, not even option, but uh, feature of uh, anime div uh, comparing, for instance, uh, with uh, early models, uh, with early approach like Xeroscope or some other models. Uh, those early models try to uh, train a model uh, at once for imagery, for visuals, and for movements. And they were, in fact, limited, uh, limiting uh, both because the model uh, couldn't really learn uh, uh, the things in details, but with animative, we uh, they uh, uh, separated these things uh, so that you could take any stable diffusion model, uh, originally uh, any stable diffusion 1.5 model uh, family of models, and uh, now the same is coming for SDXL, but didn't come yet for, for instance, uh, uh, to the popular diffusers library which I use uh, underneath uh, my own code. And so you could uh, take any existing uh, model and uh, apply so-called motion adapter to it so that uh, you animate uh, the, the imagery of that model uh, according to the uh, uh, whatever you want, uh, uh, getting both uh, detailed visuals and much better, much more detailed animation. So for instance, here is a brief example. This is uh, uh, some teaser of uh, one of my earlier works, uh, the poem, which we did a uh, year ago with uh, Ivan Pavlov, great musician. Here I fine-tuned uh, a model, uh, SD 1.5, uh, onto uh, some uh, specific, uh, specific visuals, uh, to specific style, uh, uh, imitating some uh, ancient uh, antique manuscript. So this, uh, this visuals, uh, this video on screen uh, now is uh, 
uh, was made with just uh, interpolation with latent blending uh, technique, which allowed uh, really smooth, really uh, stable transitions from uh, one image to another, but it didn't really animate those uh, visuals. It, it was just uh, some kind of translation, some interpolation, some kind of animated slideshow. And uh, in this case, uh, using the animated diff technique, uh, I could just uh, take uh, that model, apply motion adapter to it, and get, uh, the, getting the uh, animated version of the, uh, of the similar, not really the same, but quite similar visuals uh, from that uh, fine-tuned model. So uh, it, it, it's not... Uh, a, all the time when you uh, use some more complex model or more complex setup, you get a somewhat uh, simpler result uh, comparing to uh, the uh, like more simple task. For instance, if you want to uh, generate just one plain image, uh, that you can achieve uh, way better, uh, way more detailed uh, and uh, uh, Explicate uh, results, uh, then you could uh, achieve with uh, animation. But still, uh, using these uh, separate models, one for image visuals, one for animation, uh, really uh, showcased that uh, we still keep in a degree the uh, style uh, which we fine tune in the original model. So uh, let's uh, let me show you a few examples of uh, uh, some other tricks which were used uh, to make uh, these turb the turbulence uh, video, both uh, the uh, abstract part and uh, the realistic part under the hood. I showed already the image references which I used. So. This was kind of uh, easier uh, extraction from the whole scenario. Scenario for turbulence uh, included uh, some like 30 something uh, prompts. Here I just took uh, four of them, the most, more, most uh, like simple and understandable ones, and uh, used them with. Uh, the uh, commands which I will uh, show you briefly now on screen, but uh, you will uh, have uh, the same, you will have all these instructions uh, in the PDF file which we will send at the end of the stream, uh, so that you could try it yourself uh, with, your own, to, with your imagery, with your reference, with your prompts. So let's start uh, from, uh, with the first uh, simple uh, example. Here is just uh, one line, one prompt, uh, uh, which I used also uh, on my GitHub repo as a, a prompt example. That is uh, fiery dragon uh, in a China shop. So uh, this is generated uh, with uh, quite uh, standard. Uh, standard options without any extra specific tweaks. Uh, and you see the result is uh, recognizable, it's quite detailed, but um, we wouldn't call it any kind of uh, quality one, because we've got this uh, weird uh, and uh, noisy background, we've got very also noisy movements, uh, like uh, no, no, not smooth, not uh, really following uh, one piece of uh, animation didn't follow uh, previous. So, but this just to uh, uh, let you see how the uh, clear, the original uh, animated uh, diff, uh, technique would look uh, now uh, on its own. Next um, example, uh, already used those uh, four lines text file which I showed where we go through the through, through a few uh, 
runs very few uh, requests, uh, so we see uh, both how it, uh, how animate div allows us to interpolate between uh, <coughs> meanings between between uh, tasks. Uh, yet uh, we see that uh, uh, despite the result, uh, sometimes uh, maybe uh, realistic or impressive, it's really uh, clunky. It's uh, the motion is. Uh, quite sharp, uh, and uh, sometimes we get into some just noise. That was the second command where we uh, where I replaced that prompt of Fiery Dragon with a text file, which I showed you, so that we generate uh, the whole scenario uh, in one go. By the way, you see that uh, here in instructions uh, also uh, another command, uh, which is just handy uh, line, handy command to uh, automatically create uh, a video file from your sequence uh, of frames, because uh, gener generating with uh, animate uh, with, or generating any sequence uh, from the Python, you would uh, usually get the sequence of, uh, for instance, JPEG or PNG, and the JPEG allows to uh, easily, quickly, and with good quality to uh, make it video. So next one. Uh, 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 next step was to add those uh, abstract 3D image references to see how it uh, would it help uh, to make uh, everything uh, smoother and more uh, coherent. So here you see that uh, we we may in fact uh, find some kind of some traces of uh, those. Uh, 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 3D abstractions, which uh, were used as uh, image references, uh, but uh, they are not uh, uh, as obvious. And if I didn't uh, show you the, those references which I used, you would most probably would not notice them. But the uh, smoothness of uh, flow, the smoothness of dynamics, is uh, already enhanced. Yet we still have uh, it uh, quite fast, quite uh, aggressive, and uh, uh, we would usually uh, like to uh, make it more smooth, or to make it uh, maybe slower, uh, but uh, not that uh, really uh, uh, fast, fast paced. So next command, in fact, includes quite a few tricks. Besides using with image references, with some low weights, we would also get here. Uh, we would also apply here two things. First, we would apply uh, another motion adapter model, not the one uh, which used the authors of the technique, animated div, but some uh, other guys from Rilish. Uh, uh, likely published it on uh, Hagen Face uh, Hub. Uh, uh, that model had a twice longer uh, frame span, 32 frames instead of 16. And also I applied here one more technique, uh, SAG, which uh, is, stands for self-attention guidance. That's in fact a pretty old technique uh, for, I don't know, a year or a year and a half, uh, uh, which uh, in fact allowed uh, more uh, also uh, coherent, uh, uh, more uh, united uh, composition for the uh, imagery. Let me show you a few examples of what that uh, of, uh, uh, those uh, self attention guidance uh, applications. So here are uh, two uh, few pairs of uh, the uh, image renderers made with different samplers, and for every sample uh, sampler I made uh, uh, an image with, without uh, that self-attention guidance and with. And while for some uh, samplers it uh, didn't really uh, change much, there are some really, really tiny differences. But for, uh, for instance, with SDXL, it was uh, much more clear, much more obvious. This is for uh, this is for the more, most modern uh, 
is the Excel technique is the Excel Lightning, which use a distilled model uh, allowing very fast uh, ren uh, rendering, very fast uh, generation, ju just for two or four steps instead of uh, fifty. And this one uh, uh, here is an example uh, with a standard SDXL model, uh, which uh, used a longer uh, generation uh, for 50 steps. So the uh, the difference is uh, pretty vast. But for using for is the 1.5 family of models, which I'm still a big fan of. Uh, I found that there is a sampler uh, DDPM, which in fact. Uh, is uh, pretty uh, uh, obviously in, uh, in, in an impressive way. Uh, impressive way uh, is enhanced with this self-attention guidance. Like this is without. This is with uh, guidance uh, with uh, low weight, and this is with guidance with uh, higher weight. One thing uh, with uh, uh, for the DPM sampler to know uh, yet is that it's not. Uh, Determinated uh, sampler that means that if even if you s uh, supply the same uh, seed for uh, generation, you would get a different result. So it, it's uh, to be honest, uh, that, uh, it is not a really uh, like scientific grade uh, experiment because uh, next time uh, if I render the same uh, the same prompts, the same uh, presets. I would with the same seeds. I would get different results, but uh, on my experiments, uh, I never, uh, I never uh, got uh, that detail, uh, that uh, like impressive realistic uh, imagery without uh, the uh, self attention guidance. I was uh, usually getting more like this, and uh, uh, vice versa. I would, I didn't, uh, I. I Okay, so applying self attention guidance uh, helped a lot to get uh, these uh, vastly or more uh, elaborated imagery. So here is what I uh, got when I uh, applied uh, both image references and these uh, self attention guidance with a longer span model to the same uh, um, uh, set of prompts. So you see that uh, the result is quite controversial. While sometimes we uh, kind of lose the point, uh, we get some funny texture, uh, not really uh, getting the uh, cool, uh, detailed, realistic stuff. But sometimes, for some prompts, we do get those realism, those detailedness, and uh, those really impressive uh, quality. But that is already uh, up to you, next to you. I showed at the beginning the example. That it's possible to stay within the realistic realm if you want uh, to be realistic. You just need to do your, your own homework for uh, selecting and uh, expanding uh, textual prompts and maybe some uh, adding some extra uh, image references because uh, uh, I I don't know about uh, Confi UI I guess they all also have it but for with my repository there is an option uh, there is an option to uh, use both uh, uh, to, to, to schedule to use scenarios for both uh, textual prompts and for image references. You just load, uh, you just prepare the image uh, the directory with subdirectories, uh, and each subdirectory have few images. And uh, when you uh, run the generation, it uh, picks up one by one uh, textual prompt and corresponding uh, uh, subdirectory with image references. So you can drive uh, you, the result uh, uh, both way. You got uh, much more uh, like both flexible and powerful ways to control. And at the end, uh, here the result of the same prompt of Fire Dragon in a China shop, uh, rendering again uh, with uh, generated uh, with uh, the uh, tricks uh, which I mentioned with image references IP adapter, with uh, longer model, and with uh, self-attention guidance and DDPM sampler. So, uh, 
you you, you can choose uh, what kind of uh, ways, what what kind of uh, styles, what kind of approaches you like more. I personally uh, found that working with uh, that smooth and stable animations is way more uh, productive and way more uh, uh, satisfying than with uh, these uh, raw uh, generation which we had at the beginning. So uh, that was uh, that's all about uh, specific uh, common specific tricks uh, for animate uh, div for animation in stable diffusion. Again, uh, if you're interested, you would get uh, a PDF with the instructions uh, at the end of uh, this uh, stream. Uh, now let me. Oh, sorry. I... Yeah. Okay. Uh, so now let me. Uh briefly introduce to those of you who uh, didn't really uh, know by chance uh, about the, uh, our course AI Made in Visuals, uh, what, what's, uh, what is it about? That's uh, the course uh, for, uh, like, <laughs> ensured by artists for artists. Uh, that means that I uh, tried it uh, to, to avoid two things. Uh, first, uh, uh, academic complexity. And uh, at once uh, being too much, uh, too specific, uh, 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 pro providing only uh, like tutorials uh, or bunch of instructions for some specific tricks or some specific methods, like <laughs> I did now, <coughs> because uh, the course uh, it, uh, it goes for seven week, in fact eight weeks, but we've got uh, uh, one week in, uh, in the middle. Uh, Square one, so that you can keep up with the speed of, uh, of the, the fluid of the materials. And uh, the last uh, week of the course uh, is dedicated for your own project, uh, with which I would uh, be happy to help you with. Uh, so, so uh, seven week of uh, training, and uh, uh, it uh, did our best to cover, in fact. Uh, the main things which I suppose are really useful to know, maybe not just uh, uh, know it uh, as uh, to have it always by hand, but uh, the things uh, that theory which is really useful to under uh, for understanding what happens in fact in uh, in the neural networks, so so that uh, they won't be uh, like black boxes for you anymore, if they are now. Uh, and also, of course, some uh, practical uh, instruments, some practical tools, uh, so that you can uh, start uh, doing something uh, right away uh, from uh, and after this course. So the first week, for instance, it's just uh, like slow, uh, relatively slow, of course, uh, slow introduction into what neural network is, uh, what uh, uh, instruments, what setup, what environment we will use uh, to uh, go through it. Uh, general brief uh, in, uh, introduction. Then uh, convolutional networks, which are still in use nowadays, uh, while they are more and more gradually replaced by some newer uh, architectures like diffusions, uh, transformers, etc. But still, uh, con first convolutional networks are still important and still used uh, for some tasks. And second, uh, there, are, there are pretty a lot of uh, are really important concepts and the really important uh, uh, principles of uh, what and how uh, used in uh, the neural networks uh, use constructions buildings so um, uh, i guess this uh, this section will uh, will still be with us uh, for quite a long time then uh, the kings of uh, of the past generative adversarial networks which are still useful these days even if you are total fan uh, of uh, stable diffusion or whatever i don't know Midjourney or, or any other uh, modern uh, foundational uh, foundation uh, generative models, multi-model models, uh, GANs are still uh, can be applied for, for instance, uh, to the results of uh, your experiments uh, with uh, those uh, multi-model generations. 
for some tasks, uh, the guns are still uh, kings. Okay, then uh, practical image processing uh, is in fact, uh, well, it can be divided for two parts. One uh, is uh, uh, kind of uh, excursion uh, observation uh, over what um, kind of practical methods or artistic methods uh, exist now uh, besides uh, the modern foundational models, or sometimes touching them as well. Uh, what uh, methods uh, do exist for uh, image processing? Starting from like uh, so as simple as upscaling or super resolution things uh, and going through kinds of uh, deep faking and going to some uh, really artistic and uh, spe uh, specific uh, methods. So the first four weeks, in fact, uh, it was uh, kind of, kind of uh, the volume of the course uh, which I uh, taught uh, uh, two or three, four years ago, before foundation models like clip, uh, like diffusion models, came uh, on stage. And uh, the next two weeks, multimodal networks and of course stable diffusion are, uh, are dedicated to these uh, modern methods. First, it takes into account, of, uh, like explains uh, the uh, methods, uh, the early methods uh, before uh, before stable diffusion, uh, which also uh, which were uh, not as uh, not precise or not uh, uh, productive or not con not controllable yet as uh, the now as the methods nowadays, but still uh, for some things uh, they uh, they still may be useful at least for for artistic things. I'm pretty sure they are. And uh, also, it, again, uh, it's uh, very, uh, I believe it's very important, very useful to know uh, some principles which uh, we used uh, back then, only two years ago, uh, to build new tools, to build new instruments which helped us to achieve things which were not impossible before. And the last, uh, last week, obviously, about stable diffusion. Uh, it's quite uh, useless uh, to uh, tell what will be, what exactly would be on that week because uh, uh, the things move fast, you know that, and uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, at least 20-30% uh, of, of what is listed uh, here now for uh, this week, uh, which is based on the previous week, only uh, on, on the previous edition, only three months ago. Uh, quite a few things uh, are already replaced, upgraded, uh, or, or removed because uh, you already uh, you already have some pretty different uh, landscape around. And as I said, the last week uh, is dedicated to the final project, uh, kind of graduate project, uh, which uh, would be your chance to do something uh, with the knowledge which you uh, collect uh, during the course. Uh, having uh, me uh, and maybe other students uh, uh, around to help you with uh, that project, to assist you with the ideas, with technique, uh, etc. Okay, that's uh, probably it about the course program, and I think Stas would add a few things about logistics. Oops. <coughs> I slowly move in. <laughs> So, uh, first I should add something about the course itself, because uh, in the course we have also a bit of uh, touch designer integration, because like our platform is uh, somehow related to touch designer, and I would say we offer not only all this uh, uh, amazing information which listed or Vadim told before, but also some kind of very puristic integration into touch designer. So in comparison to what is now on the market and available from Dot Simulate and other guys who integrated, uh, uh, for my opinion, it's not really an integration, it's just a connection to other platform. So we made a proper puristic integration of stable diffusion inside of touch designer component, completely running from touch designer uh, Python. So that is very specific. So we uh, will also have uh, some lesson in the fourth week uh, regarding that topic, which can bring you some ideas how you can use other complex uh, Python tools running in, inside of Touch Designer. So for logistic, 
basically the course starts on, uh, as I said before, on the 1st of April and will be run on Monday and Thursday on uh, GMT time plus three, so which corresponds to six uh, on Berlin time or uh, eight on Istanbul, Moscow time. Uh, so uh, then uh, all lessons will be uploaded to the LMS, to learning management system on our website, so all students have access to their uh, backend uh, and can relook to these lessons, download the projects and additional materials. And uh, everyone has also uh, everyone who signed into the course uh, has an access to the student chat, which is, for my opinion, a half of uh, cost of the course because it's like give the access to communicate with Vadim, with other students, with me in case you have questions for touch designer integration. And for now, we give uh, another three days to enroll to the course with a discount for five 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 of euro, then the course price will increase. And uh, we also provide uh, for everyone who is interested some PDF file with information you can download. Uh, so we will post the link now to the chat. So that's what I wanted to tell. Also some last word uh, uh, for me, uh, because I was also a student of Vadim in this course. Uh, uh, since I don't know, since 1998, that's the uh, first course I taking, and uh, that uh, old school methods Vadim explains, it's kind of bringing you slowly into cold water <laughs> of new knowledge because if you just jump <laughs> into the from the bridge <laughs> into the river, it can uh, be very complicated to survive. And uh, slowly understanding all these old school methods, really you seeing how neuron works and how you can teach the super simple network, which just uh, learning on the simple digits, uh, give you really smooth uh, diving and I would say academic diving in the concept, uh, which is very complex. So for me, I was really got some several insights understanding how that's. Uh, evil machine works. So that was really amazing. And uh, for us, like how to touch platform uh, to have an academic approach is very important. So like the border between uh, academic approach and uh, practical usage. What we try to achieve to make the compact education about complex things which are still practical but also academic. So bring the knowledge under the hood. So thank you, and uh, I provide word back to Vadim. Thank you, Stas. Uh, yeah, in fact, uh, I would uh, only show you briefly a couple of videos uh, relating to that mentioned uh, integration with Touch Designer. Of course, uh, I want to get under the hood for it. Uh, we Welcome to the course for that. Uh, but here is uh, first uh, some maybe not really uh, uh, like informative uh, uh, videos. Uh, these are just my tests of uh, the modern uh, models, modern technique of SDXL Lightning. Like SDXL model was really impressive for quality, despite it had a, uh, it, it was probably seriously censored and uh, had a definite bias, but uh, it was really it produced uh, in producing uh, now uh, still a really uh, impressive uh, results uh, out of the box without any uh, really tricky prompting, uh, etc. And uh, then uh, they, uh, the, there appeared uh, such things as LCM models, uh, which uh, was approached to dis uh, so-called distill uh, 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 huge, heavy, slow diffusion models into a way more fast, uh, way more uh, uh, like then uh, operative uh, models, uh, which allowed to, to generate uh, stuff not uh, within a few dozens of uh, steps, like 50 steps uh, of iterations uh, through the uh, diffusion steps, but only with few, uh, as, as few as uh, two or four steps. 
Uh, there was uh, some uh, uh, LCM models for uh, SD 1.5, but they didn't really. Uh, there were really few models which could be uh, used, and training your own model, uh, LCM model, is still uh, a serious affair. You you would need to to get an access to the huge data set, uh, etc. It's not like just homework on the laptop. Uh, so LCM was uh, like thing in itself. Uh, it allowed uh, quite uh, like fast, uh, quick uh, things uh, to 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 do, uh, and that was uh, the method uh, which we integrated uh, uh, Touch Designer with uh, on the previous edition. But now, a uh, few weeks ago, uh, there appeared the so-called SDXL Lightning, with, which is. Uh, as, f as fast as SDXL Turbo or even faster, but uh, have uh, has a much better quality and uh, out, again out of the box allowed to get uh, pretty impressive results. So this is, for instance, uh, some short video uh, made uh, such short animation uh, made with uh, uh, SDXL Lightning. It's not yet a proper animation with, for for instance, uh, animate div which I. Uh, uh, showcased uh, earlier on this stream. Uh, it's uh, just an interpolation uh, with the uh, Latin blending technique, of, by the way, of the same uh, short scenario which we tried uh, as a test bed for uh, animative cases. But uh, this was generated, for instance, with uh, 25 steps, that is 25 frames uh, uh, interpolation between two lines. And then, uh, usually, I was uh, generating uh, some uh, steps, some uh, intermediate frames with, uh, for instance, stable diffusion. And then I had to, uh, uh, if I may have wanted uh, it longer, uh, to not uh, wait, uh, to, to, to avoid waiting too long uh, time, I had to smooth it out, to interpolate it more uh, with, uh, uh, for instance, film. Uh, network another uh, uh, neural model from the Google to uh, make uh, this, uh, to add uh, intermediate frames between the uh, diffusion generated frames and so to make it smoother and uh, uh, like longer. And here I realized that with SDXL Lightning you don't uh, really need those extra uh, smoothing networks anymore because you can just generate more frames instead. Like here is the same uh, task, the same scenario, but generated with 50 frames, uh, two more, uh, twice more frames uh, between the uh, lines for as an interpolation step. And while we see that it's not, it didn't really get smoother uh, in original, meaning that we still have some uh, like uh, jumps uh, between frames, which wouldn't get, uh, go anywhere until uh, while we uh, use uh, diffusion uh, approach. But the uh, like macro shapes, the main uh, composition, the main objects or subjects uh, really uh, uh, move slower, smoother, and uh, for uh, like uh, uh, describing or for uh, showcasing the scenario from the conceptual point of view, uh, we uh, get better and closer to our task of presenting this scenario. And what I wanted to say that uh, the uh, length, uh, the time of generating these extra steps between the, uh, that is generate them with uh, stable diffusion, uh, is uh, the Excel model instead of uh, some uh, extra smoothing model. The time was uh, nearly the same. Well. In fact, it was longer, but uh, not uh, that much, not like uh, tens of times as previously, but uh, was uh, something like uh, uh, I had uh, 0 0.8 second per frame for uh, diffusion, and I had something like 0 0.5 uh, for uh, the interpolation with uh, extra model with film, just pure smoothing. So it, it became uh, pretty much comparable. So 
And uh, uh, obviously, SDXA Lightning would be our uh, model of choice for uh, integration with Touch Designer on the next edition. And in fact, uh, we already have something to show, uh, uh, pro probably uh, showcasing uh, the course <laughs> better than all the words, or many words which we uh, said today that this uh, video it's it may be not uh, really informative uh, on its own but this is uh, the uh, example uh, of integration of SDX uh, of stream diffusion which is in fact SDXL Turbo or SDXL Lightning plus uh, some other uh, optimization tweaks so it's uh, it, stream diffusion I uh, see it's uh, it as a kind of like branding for uh, umbrella term for a few uh, for few tricks uh, and as they say lightning or turbo is uh, the best trick uh, amongst them so here is uh, an example of implementation of, uh, of integration of stream diffusion with touch designer but not done not uh, by us not by me or stas but by our students from the previous edition of the course like we uh, showcase them how to uh, like properly integrate uh, uh, neural networks into Touch Designer. Uh, showcase them on the, uh, as one of the examples was uh, uh, that we used uh, stable diffusion uh, LCM model, and uh, Sumit Rahila uh, managed to uh, re-implement another model that is stream diffusion. Uh, to touch designer without uh, our help with uh, like quite simple uh, it's quite simple task uh, okay he did, he didn't tell us how simple it was or not maybe simple but at least uh, he did it on its own uh, without any really uh, like troubles or issues and I, su I suppose uh, that's uh, quite important to see that uh, uh, some the guys, girls uh, who just took uh, the course uh, only two months ago uh, are already using it in their like day-to-day -day work, applying it to their uh, installations or whatever. Okay, uh, that's probably all I wanted to say to... So it was a question regarding should the students know Python? Uh, good question. Uh, we tried hard. I tried hard. Tried hard to uh, compose, to combine, uh, to, to construct the program in such a way uh, that both uh, that it would be useful and interesting uh, for both, uh, like cool specialists who are already uh, may know Python are may be. Uh, experts in uh, the coding in general. We had uh, quite a few uh, students on the pre previous edition uh, who in fact uh, did for uh, as a their great project uh, made some uh, a database uh, uh, controlling uh, my uh, code uh, so that they would uh, use it uh, integrated into their tool already. But at the same time, uh, uh, I try hard to uh, uh, bring as much uh, theory and as much uh, uh, general tricks and uh, information in general for those uh, who don't want to really become uh, a coder and who, who is not coder uh, at all, uh, so that they would uh, would be able to use uh, already existing uh, or other uh, already existing tools or the tools or instruments which are you know, coming, uh, so that they just know how it's uh, how it works, uh, what it is, uh, what uh, it uh, its place and its role uh, in the whole picture, so that this thing is probably should be used in such and such way and in such and such case. Uh, but shouldn't be used uh, elsewhere and uh, to uh, to do something of different kind you would pick up another instrument so so that they, they would uh, see the whole picture and understand uh, s some necessary details so of course the more you know the more you get 
that's obviously valid for, I think, uh, any uh, training, any education. Uh, but don't be uh, don't be afraid uh, to get there if uh, you didn't uh, you haven't ever touched Python or haven't ever just looked into the code. Uh, you may still get uh, uh, cool uh, insights or at least uh, useful info from it, even uh, without uh, coding any stuff on your own. So I think it's a time to announce a PDF, yeah? So you just post it to the chat. Mm -hmm. So if you have some, still have some questions, please ask. We wait a bit <laughs> for the live reaction. And yeah, thank you for being with us. So this uh, link is available for everyone who was here in the stream and you can download it just registering to our newsletters. Thank you for coming and uh, hope to see you uh, on our course uh, or maybe on the, the coming edition or later on, whatever, uh, whenever you, you are ready to <laughs> jump into that water, but not from the bridge, as Stas mentioned. Uh, and anyway, uh, have, a, uh, have a great success uh, for uh, uh, your endeavors in other stuff, for IML and for the rest. Thank you, and have a nice evening too. <laughs> Мне в какой-то момент показалось, что мы в час уложимся, но, естественно, этого не произошло. А, не, мы должны. Ну, а, 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 8, да. Мы уже чуть-чуть позже начали, там, пока да. у нас такие технические mm -hmm. были. Потому что мы в целом там аккуратненькие бублики. Отлично. Что, у нас две продажи за время. За время стрима? Да. И еще один написал такой, типа, можно в рублях? Ну, он написал, короче. У нас, да, меня больше всего порадовал персонаж, которого зовут Петр, Петр Пустота в чате. Это какая-то знакомая какая-то. Это А, да, точно. Нет, просто имею в виду, что, по-моему, где-то он уже натыкался. Нет, был там Евгений Кучерявый, которого, по-моему, знаю лично этого персонажа. Из Чехии. Чего? Вот я с ним как раз сейчас переписывался, и он мне, он мне сегодня написал, типа, а что там по времени будет? Я ему говорю, типа, давай, иди на стрим, все узнаешь. И он мне в начале стрима пишет, все, я готов. Ну, он увидел ну, видосики, там, так, и все, я готов. Сейчас. Он у нас еще виджой тул и русский, русский хаутутач брал. Так, все. Так, ну... Я заключаю тогда.